edition of Trail Talk TV. Today we've got Jonathan Beeson from Adobe in the uh, office. Jonathan, thanks for coming in today. Good morning. Uh, and today we're going to talk about Adobe because, you know, it's quite a big organization, but few people have an idea of what it is and where it's going. So Jonathan, just give us a bit of an overview of your role in Adobe for us and then we'll just jump in and talk about the, the structure of the company and where it fits in. Yeah, sure. So um, my job title is I'm the Director of New Product Innovation uh, in Europe for our media and advertising solutions. So what that means is basically a product marketing role where I'm out doing PR, mm -hmm. uh, you know, talking to the market like mm -hmm. I am right now, uh, but I'm also helping uh, sales teams get out there and enable them, um, and also help, you know, product definition, what should we be doing, mm. what should our strategy be, mm. how should we price it, who should we be selling to, mm. all that kind of stuff. So we're here to talk about Adobe. Uh, it's quite a, an interesting organisation. Recently you've made some big acquisitions and it's moved into various parts of, of the advertising and marketing yeah. uh, sphere. So it's just sort of get a concept of what the company is and where it sits in the sort of advertising and marketing space. So I wonder if you can map that out for us and explain a little bit. Yeah, so I mean, everyone's heard of Adobe, right? Oh, obviously. Everyone's heard of Photoshop, yeah. InDesign, all that kind of stuff, and that's fantastic. Uh, we've got a great heritage there on the creative mm. side of advertising and marketing. Um, but Adobe, a few years ago, wanted to start a journey on you know, the rest of marketing. If, I, if, if we're helping people create their marketing, mm. how can we help them manage it, monetize it, uh, manage it, and so on? Mm. So you know, that starts back in 2009 when Adobe goes out and buys Omniture, which yeah. is famous for its analytics software, mm -hmm. um, and then made a number of acquisitions. So it bought uh, Demdex, which is an audience manager uh, solution. It bought uh, Auditude, which is about video ads. Uh, it bought Efficient Frontier, which is about uh, search, social, and display ads. That's where I came from. The yeah. Came into the company, and we just announced that we're going to buy Neo Lane okay. on the campaign management side, yeah. and that that deal's in progress. So let's just see where all that fits together. I mean, could you map that out? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we've put all those different companies and all the products that go with them into uh, a marketing plan concept. Yeah, um, and you know, it's probably fair to say we had. 20 odd products that we were selling to the market, which was quite confusing, mm -hmm. probably confusing to ourselves. So confusing to me. Exactly. <laughs> so we, we're trying to simplify that under the marketing plan. Yeah. Basically, we've rationalized that into, into five solutions. Okay. And uh, we've got analytics, that's um, the Omniture Site Catalyst product, yeah. right? but other uh, tools there to help you understand your data. Uh, experience manager. That comes from uh, an acquisition of Day Software back in 2010, I think it is, the, the CQ product. That's all about how you build, scale, personalize experiences on the web, uh, you know, whether it's desktop or mobile phone. Um, then we've got Target. A lot of people may have heard of uh, the Test and Target product. Um, so that's all about optimization of experiences. Mm. Um, and then we've got Social which is publishing, moderation, community management on, uh, on networks, on you know, Facebook and Twitter, but also listening across thousands, millions of different blogs and uh, websites. And then finally, Media Optimizer. And that's where I fit into it. So that is um, the Efficient Frontier technology, uh, which has got all the connections to programmatic buying points, mm -hmm. be it search, social, or display, mm -hmm. plus audience manager so you can you know ingest data sources build your cookie pool segment and, and then push them out for um uh, to different places yeah. um and you know and bringing that all together so that you can basically deliver whatever your advertising goals are whatever your kpis are so effectively it's a marketing suite you've got you yeah know, your analytics your uh cms your optimization here correct so and we're calling that the adobe marketing cloud the thing that's you know a differentiator there is that that is not just a, a sort of a tagline. Mm -hmm. That is also a collaboration uh, interface as well. Mm. Because you know if you think about the advertising space or you know the website space, it's you know how many how many hours are lost, people emailing each other, FTPing, all that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, so there's a whole collaboration uh, piece there. Uh, that integrates with anyone who's using any of these components, but also uh, can be connected with anyone who's got a creative plan blocking. 
and we're releasing that later this month. And how do you identify your, your key clients then? I mean, are your, your key clients then um, big uh, enterprise marketing uh, uh, firms uh, uh, or agencies? Or how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you sort of identify clients? So, yeah, so, so traditionally, um, our customer base is the enterprise. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, if you think about the omniture business, you know, who's, who, who's buying an analytics yeah. um, solution? It, it's, it's more likely the enterprise than, mm. than a third party, um, you know, who's going to own the technology that powers someone's website, that's going to be, you know, be a brand or a marketer. But, um, you know, it takes a lot of services, a lot of uh, consultancy to deliver, you know, a, com a, a big solution like a, a website redesign as mm. well. So we've got a huge partner network and there's sort of, uh, there's consultancies in there, people like Deloitte, um, there are system integrators, uh, people like Sapient Nitro, but also there's the agency community as well. Um, so, you know, Laura Desmond, who's the CEO of Starcom, yeah. sits on the Adobe board. Okay. So, you know, a lot of our business is delivered with those partners as well. But you sit in an interesting space. You're, you're obviously clearly in the neighboring technology. Yeah. A lot of people just take your technology, so you've got like a, a consultancy partner uh, mm. a, a, um, a relationship with these companies as yeah. well. But it, it's an interesting thing going on here between market technology and ad technology that seem to be kind of crossing over a lot. Yeah. Have you seen that happening from your vantage point? Because obviously you see agencies and you see the, the sort of consultancy firms and then you obviously see the marketers as well. Uh, do you see that happening at the minute or I mean, what, what's your perspective yeah, so, on that? So it's, you know, what, what, one of the big problems that marketers have is you have, you know, 15 different sources of data. Mm -hmm none of which match up to each other. Mm. And you know, getting to one version of the truth is really difficult. Um, and you know, that's, that's essentially one of the problems we're trying to solve by this, because I think for a lot of marketers who are particularly you know, driving a lot of business through their web presence, you know, their analytics data, that is the, the version of the truth. That's mm. what is measuring whether they're selling, you know, whether they're not selling, whether they're engaging users or not. So that's that's interesting, but then you've also got kind of you know problems of audience definition, and this starts to spill into the advertising world. So that's why um, you know audience manager is a critical part of our advertising uh, solution because it's about how do you figure out who your audience is, you know, from your first party, second party, third party data, mm -hmm. define that, cut that into segments, and then use that either to go out and find those segments on. Uh, ad exchanges or uh, you know or to make sure that when those segments come to your site you can give them a very personalized experience mm. will hopefully lead them to convert um, or, or take the actions that you want yeah to so you've been a, a nice integrated DMP solution as well yes yeah, so, well the DMP solutions are a, a powerful one that's it yeah. you know DevDex I think is a yeah. great acquisition okay Thanks, Jonathan. That was uh, interesting overview. I mean, uh, this is uh, we could dive deeper, which we probably will in the next couple of weeks. But uh, thanks for coming in this morning. No problem. And that was Trailer Talk TV. See you next week.